On behalf of all those in the uh, in the MEF, congratulations, you're the best damn battalion in the Marine Corps. There you go. General, we're, we'll take good care of your cup, uh, but I think the biggest reward that the Marines and Sailors of this battalion... I am Lieutenant Colonel Jim Armstrong, Commanding Officer, 2nd Battalion, 6 Marines. So we're recognizing uh, the battalion for being the recipient of the 2 MEF Chesty Puller Award for the best large unit within the MEF. 2nd Battalion, 6 Marines was deployed forward uh, as part of the 22nd MU throughout 2022. During that time, uh, they were involved in operations up in the Baltics, uh, down in the Mediterranean, uh, and spread across the, uh, the European theater. They conducted missions with partner nations. Uh, they conducted all kinds of operations uh, that really advanced uh, the, the mission in a, in a very important time, in a very important theater, reassuring our partners and allies. Uh, additionally, uh, they built a strong unit that, that hit the mark in a lot of the things that we say are important for units. Uh, first and foremost, they took care of each other. They were well disciplined, uh, didn't have uh, issues with conduct, um, and, and, and they liked each other so much they decided to, to re-enlist uh, and to stay, to stay Marine. Uh, and so we, we built a really strong unit uh, that, that went out and, and when asked to execute the mission, did it well, and they were recognized for it. So this is a historic award that, uh, that, that, that is awarded annually to uh, various units throughout the MEF. There's three categories uh, for the small, medium, and large unit. 2nd Battalion, 6th Marines is, uh, falls in the large unit category. Uh, and this award recognizes the unit that achieves the, the or sets the standard in the things that, that determine a good organization. 2-6 is special uh, because of the legacy. Uh, this is a storied battalion, and more importantly, it's because of the people that are in it. Uh, this, is, this is the tribe. It's built with the Marines, the sailors, the families, uh, the friends and loved ones that support us, and, and the fact that we, uh, we rely and depend on each other, uh, and that we, we, we count on each other. I took command in December, uh, December 15th of 2022, so about six months now. We, we build a culture based off trust. We trust the individual that they're competent, that they're proficient, and that they're, they're a mature individual who's gonna make good decisions when they're put forward. You entrust people with, uh, with responsibilities and they generally exceed your expectations. And when you see that across the unit and you see that recognized and rewarded, uh, you, build a, you build a unit that's capable of doing amazing things. That's what this unit has done consistently over and over again over the course of the last year. I, I think you saw it out here today. Uh, you saw it out here with the recognition of the, the individuals who contribute to the fight. There's not a single individual in this battalion who, who does anything that's more important than anybody else. It truly is the, uh, the, the effort of the team working together uh, and the way that we, we, we foster that sense of tribe. Uh, we pull in the families. Uh, it's not an individual out here ever on their own. It's always together. I tell you, there's no better job in the Marine Corps than serving in an infantry battalion. Uh, and being, being part of 2-6 is, is like the pinnacle of being in an infantry battalion. Uh, and it really is. It's, it's the people of this organization that make this the best place to be. The most valuable experience is getting to know the Marines uh, and sailors that make up this battalion. Spending time with them in the field, getting down with them in their shops, uh, and just hearing who they are. We've got a, we've got a wide variety of, of experiences and expertise in the battalion. Uh, we've got Marines and sailors from, from all over the United States and several foreign countries, uh, and each of them comes with a story. And, and it's those individual stories that make this unit together one of the, the, the best unit in, in 2MEF. Yeah, so what I tell you, you know, what, what makes 2 6 special and, and, and why do people want to stay Marine when they're part of 2 6? Uh, I think it boils down to, to, to trust, attitude, and discipline. Uh, we do what we say we're going to do, and we don't do what we say we're not going to do. And when you can count on the person to the left and the right of you to do what they say they're going to do, then you trust them. And when you build trust, it, it, it's cyclical. It, it breeds further trust. And so you get to do the things you want to do. You get to, you get to control your own destiny, which really goes to attitude. And we talk about, you know, attitude is the one thing that you always control. People can, can make you do a lot of things. But the attitude with which you approach the problem, that's, that's always up to you. Now, fortunately, we got, a peop, we got a lot of Marines and sailors in this battalion with some fantastic attitudes. The motto of the battalion is, we're the ready battalion. And we've talked a lot about what being ready means. Uh, it means being lethal, first and foremost. If we get asked to execute our mission in combat, 
uh, but, but it means able to respond. It means able to, to take care of something before it becomes an issue. And then the motto of the battalion is never to quit. And we try to embody that with everything we do. Uh, the Spartans of 2nd Battalion, 6th Marines, they lead the way. When we send these Marines and sailors out to schools, they come back with, as honor grads. Uh, they come back with additional skills and, and they immediately turn to and teach those that are, uh, that are part of this. And, and so we're talking about you know, links in the chain of a legacy. Uh, and 2-6 and has a long legacy. We're proud of it. Uh, we're proud of the, the, what the battalion's done in its history. We're, we're humble to be a part of what it's doing today. Uh, and we look forward to being the next chapter in, in establishing, uh, adding to the great reputation of this battalion. Like Sergeant Major said, I, I felt uh, I felt the need to make sure that you recognize winners. That it's okay, not everybody gets a damn trophy. But we recognize winners. This is different. And I, I went back to what my leaders had taught me and said, that that's this is where I need to go. You will follow, we will go this way because that's what right looks like. The second unit. Every day, I looked left and I looked right, and my advice to you is take a moment and enjoy where you are. A large portion of you will either leave this unit, PCS, go back into where in this great country we belong. Some of you will move on to other organizations. Some of you will be the, the, the unit of basis for the next beginning of building up Sparta. But on behalf of all those in the uh, in the MEF, congratulations. You're the best damn battalion in the Marine Corps. There you go. General, we're, we'll take good care of your cup, uh, but I think the biggest reward that the Marines and sailors of this battalion would, would want is that when the mission comes down and somebody's getting feisty and you're looking for, for the ready battalion, that that yellow diamond comes to mind because you'll find the Spartans ready. Stand up. Stand up. Let me see it. All right. All right. Uh, First Lieutenant Nelson, he's standing in as the uh, filling in as the 